I would so in the month of November or in the month of December, like third year and fourth year students will be having their semester examination. Along with that, we are having our gate examination in Feb month. So students are panicking that, sir, how would we manage both of the things? Because our uh, examination will eat up 20 days and we will lose our motivation for gate examination or we, or we, may, or we may end up losing our concentration or our rhythm for gate examination. So yeah, these kind of doubts you are having. So now I will tell you what, uh, what kind of things you can do and how you can manage your studies along with your semester examination preparation. So because I have been at the same place, so I know how to manage both of the things together. Yeah. So let me tell you one thing guys, if you are preparing for gate examination and if you, gate examination is your end term goal, like final your target is to go into IITs or go into PSU through gate score, then your CGPA wouldn't matter much. Okay, your CGPA doesn't have much importance. But if you are someone who is looking to go abroad for higher studies, if you are going to, if you are trying to go outside India for higher studies, then it may, it might matter much, right? Because there would be some value of your CGPA if you are thinking to go abroad. But if you are thinking to stay in India for masters or if you are thinking to go for PSUs, then a CGPA about seven, the CGPA about seven, that would be more than enough. Seven is the maximum I would ask you to take. Okay. And if you are having above six, then there might be a few, uh, few colleges or there might be a few companies which, which wouldn't be allowing you. But 90% of the companies will still allow you if you are having CGPA above six. Okay. So above six or above seven, if you are having above seven, then you are safe. Now coming to the semester examination. So if you are having a CGP above seven, then do not care much about your semester examination. Okay. Don't care much about that because like uh, they will help you to score well in your examination, but uh, eventually that will not help you. No. So don't have greed for any CGP. Now, how would you manage your uh, exam and gate preparation together? So assuming that my examination is starting from 20th November, this is what I am assuming that my exam will start from 20th November. Okay. So at least uh, till 15th of November, I will not study about my semester exam at all. I will be studying my gate preparation only till 15th of November. That means maximum five days I can take. This is the maximum I am telling you. Okay. Least you can go till two days as well. Maximum you can take five days for your semester exam preparation least you can go for two days as well. Now, during the preparation of your semester examination, let's just say my exams are going from 20th November to 30th November. I don't think your semester exam will go about 10 days. In 10 days, your semester exam should be completed. So if it is going from 20th November to 30th November, so let's just say I have started preparing for the examination from, from 18th November. So from 18th November to 13th November, I will be preparing, pre preparing for my semester exam. Along with that, if I have 30 minutes of time every day, what I'm saying 30 minutes of time every day. So in that time, I will try to solve questions, try to solve questions of gate examination. I know it is a very tough task, but if you are able to do it, then it would be pretty good for you. But even if you are not able to do it, then also it is fine. What I'm saying in those 12 days, I will take 30 minutes of every day, 30 minutes every day and try to solve some questions. It can be from any subject like let's just say I'm so much comfortable with analog electronics. I'm so much comfortable with network analysis. I'm so much comfortable with communication system. So I will be solving problems from that particular subject because that 30 minute, I just want to get into the mode of gate examination. Like for semester preparation, you will be reading the notes. You will be mugging up the things. You will be just doing the rote learning. You will be not learning anything that is fruitful for your examination. So you are just doing the rote learning there. So all 12 days, I don't want you to do the rote learning because after 12 days, once you have, once you have done the rote learning for 12 days, after 12 days, once you get into the mode of gate examination, that will take you some time is it happens a lot of times, like 12 days, you are just mugging up the things you are just writing down the examination without even thinking anything. You are not even using your brain, just mugging up the things. And to, tomorrow you are going to write down the things you are making chits and all those things you are doing. So that will just take you out of the mode of gate preparation. So in gate preparation, you have to use the, use your brain as well. You have to remember the formula. You have to remember the concept. So that kind of grip, I don't want you to lose out. So that's why I'm saying if you are able to manage 30 minutes of time every day, then try solving some question. It could be from any subject. I'm not asking you to learn anything new. I'm not asking anything new to learn. Okay. It could be from any subject, whatever the subject that I am comfortable with, I will try to solve problems from that particular subject so that I at least be in the mode of gate preparation. And even if you are not able to solve, then also it is fine. We can again cover up after 12 days. So your examination are gonna eat up only 15 days of your preparation. Okay. Only 15 days, maximum 15 days or worst to worst case, it would go around 17 to 18 days, not more than that. Okay. So you do not panic that I am going to mess up my examination. The only concern is your panic. If you are just panicking that 15 days will be 
my 15 days will not come in action my 15 days will be wasted then you will you might end up messing up your examination but just think that after 15 days i am again gonna get up and then start my preparation and till the deadline of 15 days i am gonna prepare for gate examination only so in that manner it will be very helpful for you okay so in the brief i just told you that do not care much about your examination if you are having good uh, good enough cgpa start preparing for your examination maximum for five days before the start or minimum you can take two days like if you are starting before two days as well that also it is, then also it is fine so in 12 days you will be only doing the preparation of your examination if you are able to manage 30 minutes of your day 30 minutes of your time to solve some question from the previous subject from any subject just you need to solve some gate question so that you be in the touch of gate preparation and after 12 days we will have enough time we will have enough exposure to our subjects and then we can proceed in our preparation so even if you end up wasting your 12 to 15 days or or even more than that let's just say worst case if you are if you end up wasting your 20 days still you will be having more than two months left two and at least two and a half months you will be having for ec student it will be two and a half months and for electrical student and instrumentation student, students it will be two months so you will be having two or two and a half months with you so that is more than enough to get into the mode of preparation and to prepare new subjects as well okay yeah so thank you very much best of luck to everyone happy learning and if in case you are having any other doubt you can put it in the comment section i will try to answer that Thank you very much.